Hi guys, just a quick little vlog. Uh, I've been awake since 8.30 this morning. It's now 10 to 1 at night. Uh, only got up early because I was watching a couple of My Little Pony Build-A-Bear plushies on eBay that I wanted. And I won them. Yes. That really did please me because I really did want them. Um, because it's going to be the next collection, if you like, that I'm going to complete. I've already completed the key rings, the TY key rings, because uh, my Pinkie Pie one arrived yesterday. So I figured, uh, I've already got three Builder Bears, so I might as well just gradually get the rest, so I've now got two to arrive in the post, which... By my calculations, leaves me with three to get. Uh, I am watching a Celestia. Princess Celestia one. I'm not going to talk about, about it too much in this video. I'll, I'll do a video when they arrive and I'll talk about My Little Pony plushies and whatnot in that video. But... Uh, I've been wanting to do a My Little Pony video, but I'm just going to wait until they arrive. Uh, then I went to Mum's. Uh, she picked me up at about 11 o'clock. Actually, I think by the time her and my brother arrived, it was around about 11.15. But uh, those fluorescent lights I've had leaning in my hallway for about a month are actually now up in the workshop. I've been doing the electrics. But, uh, yeah, I got as far as installing all the power outlets, or sockets as we call them here, and the two main fluorescent lights, and a cable for another socket, which I'll put up tomorrow as well if I get time. Otherwise, if I don't, it's going to leave a live cable hanging there, so I think I will. Um, put that up on the wall. Uh, and then I started on the um, sort of like a mini fuse box, if you like, because it's just got the main on power on off switch and uh, two circuit breakers, and only room for one more. <laughs> so yeah, it is quite a small fuse box because it is only meant for. You know, like a little workshop like that and whatnot. Uh, the outlets are wired to it and wired to their circuit breaker. Um, but I had to stop at the lights because I made a boo-boo. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't make a boo-boo. I just forgot to do something. Um, I've got... One cable going into the fuse box from the switch and another one going into the fuse box that runs out to the actual light fixtures. The problem is, before my stepdad panelled it up and screwed the fuse box up for me, I didn't mark which cable was which. So I've now got two grey cables in the fuse box that I don't know which is which. Which is why... I'm going to take my trusty multimeter over tomorrow and uh, what I'll do, I'll just drop the switch off the wall because the switch is, you know, an arm's length away from the fuse box so I can do this easily um, and just probe the wires until I find which wire goes from the fuse box to the switch. <laughs> So I can then continue to do the wiring. Yeah. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Never mind. <clears throat> it would have been easier if I marked it, but it's not a problem really. I'll just, like I said, I'll just use the uh, multimeter in a in its continuity test mode. Uh, what else have I got to do tomorrow? The other thing I'm going to do is hopefully 
get the workshop wired to power and uh, we're going to drill a hole through the wall because um, the kitchen wall actually backs on or is making up part of the workshop wall. That was the advantage about building the workshop down there. It's tucked up the corner out of the way so it's not an eyesore. Uh, and using the fence and the house wall pretty much meant he, he had three walls there. Um, so he just had to, the only wall he had to make was the front one where the door is. And as you saw, he did make a wooden frame in front of the fence. Uh, and from that, he put the insulation in and then put the boards on, cutting out where the sockets were. Which he put, he put the metal boxes for the sockets up before putting the wooden panels on. And I actually, I put the cables in to the lights and the sockets before he did that as well so everything is tidy and hidden uh, so yeah we're gonna he's gonna pick me up about 10 30 in the morning we're gonna head to the electrical place in town and get a circuit breaker because I'm gonna wire the workshop straight into the house consumer unit or fuse box if you prefer to call it that uh, I could probably get away like he has done for three years at the old workshop with just putting it on a 13 amp plug like the landlord did at the old house but uh, I ain't going to do that I'm going to do it properly because you know touch wood nothing ever happens but so if it's done properly if anything did happen, then my stepdad would be protected. Because not only would he have the circuit breakers in the actual workshop, he'll have the actual RCD protecting him in the house. So if he did accidentally clip, I don't know, the cable on his angle grinder or whatever, then it'll just trip straight out. And uh, it should prevent him from getting an electric shock. I have earthed everything, including the metal boxes for the um, outlets and switch. I know they can't be touched, but I still felt better. The earth terminals are there, so I just did it anyway. Same with the lighting, they're all going to be earthed. Otherwise the RCD wouldn't work anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's all done. I uh, didn't use grey cable for the outlets, but according to an, a qualified electrician I follow on YouTube, the only reason they use grey cabling in home installations is because it's cheap. <laughs> but I have used a heavy duty cable um, to do the sockets. I haven't used no flimsy crap. Actually, going by the gauge, it's probably the same gauge, but just a flexible round black cable instead of a flat grey cable. That's the only difference. Um, you'll be more than man enough to take it. I mean, he won't have the lights on during the day because with that transparent plastic roof he put on plenty of light going in there so at most he'll just be using one power tool at a time when he's making his um, algae scrubbers so that installation will is more than adequate again I made sure of that because <laughs> uh, well I've got his safety to think of haven't I I don't really want to set fire to the house either that wouldn't be good <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to drag some stuff over from the workshop tomorrow as well. But uh, at some point, when I get another minute to myself over at Mum's, I'll um, go out there and just do an update video. But uh, I say a minute to myself because uh, Mum's camera shy. 
And so is uh, stepdad. He doesn't like being on camera either. If you, just in case you're ever wondering why I don't film while they are there. But, uh, you know, stepdad goes in for the day and you know says he's finished. And he's sitting in the lounge and I might sneak out and uh, have a play with the camera. As a thank you for all the work I've done, he has actually um, bought me some track. I bid on it this evening and won it. Probably really pissed the person off that was bidding against me, because um, <laughs> he matched. He put a bid in in the last four seconds, but the problem was it perfectly matched my bid. Um, but because I put the bid in first, made me the winner. <laughs> so I bet, I bet whoever was bidding against me was probably um, calling me every name under the sun. <laughs> uh, I will, I will need some more. I've got enough to finish my circuit. Uh, and perhaps to make a start on the um, siding. But I will need another. I've spent nearly 50 quid total on um, track just to finish this off. That's how expensive this Lego hobby is. 50 quid just to join this bit up. Change a couple of bits up there because I've got the um, flexi track where the, the locomotive is. And to finish that bit down there. 50 in grid in track Jesus it's only plastic how can plastic be so bloody valuable uh, I don't know right uh, I'm gonna shut down because I don't think there's anything else off I don't think I've forgotten anything anyway I'm gonna get these tr videos transferred because I've got one for the Lego channel as well Get those uploaded. I don't mind uploading at 1 o'clock in the morning because uh, I know on my Lego channel most of my subscribers are overseas anyway. So, <clears throat> uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to shut down. While these are uh, uploading and whatnot, I'm going to play some GTA. So, I probably won't be going to bed till 2 o'clock as normal. It's about normal for me, two o'clock. Oh yeah, it appears Nemo did lose a tooth from this side, but... I think I can feel a gap there, I'm not actually sure. It doesn't seem to hurt, because he was letting me, you know, well, as you saw, I was able to poke, so... It's just that he was laying in bed beside me last night, and I was just doing things, you know, like this, and just having a little plane gently teasing him and he just totally out of character he just sat up and hissed at me and I say that's out of character because it's only the second time he's hissed at me since I've owned him and I've owned him seven years yep when my uh, half sister moved up here to Norfolk and uh, from Somerset she was actually going to leave him down in Somerset and move up here without him I said, no, you can bring him with you, and uh, he stuck with me ever since. Um, but she said he was three years old back then, so the seven years I've had him, plus that three years makes him ten years old. But uh, my mum's old landlord had a cat, and he reached the age of 21. And I've actually heard stories where cats have gotten a lot older than that. So we'll see. We'll see how tough this old kitty is. But uh, that might explain why he doesn't like eating biscuits. You know, if he's got sore teeth, I suppose he won't want to crunch on biscuits, will he? <clears throat> so, Daddy won't buy you any more biscuits. It'll just be your meat. Which reminds me, I've actually got to go and get you some. Not desperate for cat food, but I do need to get some. Because uh, otherwise I'll forget and I'll spend my money on other things and they'll be like, Oh, poo, I haven't got any cat food. <clears throat> it's 
not often I've done that, but I have done that. But uh, I do 99.9% .9 of the time, I actually make sure he's got more food than I've got. I think it was his tooth. I just found this hard object on the bed, and it was actually wet. So... <laughs> I think you might have just missed what he was doing. I don't think I was quick enough. Right, well, I'm going to shut down, as I said. Then again, I always say that and end up rambling, but this time I am shutting down. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, feel free to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you have one. And, uh, what was the other thing? Subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll talk to you again soon. And if I see my advert, it's because I'm bloody tired. Anyway, bye.